A 16-year-old boy is now charged in a shooting that wounded two people and caused their SUV to crash with a newborn inside. WGN's Sean Lewis is live at the Cook County Juvenile Center on the near west side with this story. Sean. And Jenna and Pat, that 16-year-old arrested by Chicago police yesterday near Washington Park. He now faces multiple charges, including attempted first-degree murder. Inside the Cook County Juvenile Center, a teenager is being held in the weekend shooting that injured multiple people. It was just after noon on Saturday. Police say that a 16-year-old began firing into an SUV at 79th and Southwood in Auburn Gresham. He hit a 40-year-old man in the arm and grazed a 37-year-old woman in the stomach. While trying to get away, the driver of that SUV hit several other cars, flipped onto its side. Three others inside of the SUV, including a newborn, were brought to the hospital to be checked out. Everyone survived. Those shooting victims were two of the 11 people shot in Chicago over the weekend. A 16-year-old, a baby. We've got babies shooting babies, babies shooting adults. Today, less than a mile from that shooting scene, St. Sabina Church unveiled this sculpture depicting Jesus kneeled over a man shot three times in the back. It sits in front of a memorial to victims of Chicago's gun violence. Babies with guns out here in our community who have no value for themselves or value for each other and shooting and killing one another. It will be 18 years without my son. Pam Bosley is one of the many here, still grieving <laughs> and working to keep guns out of the hands of Chicago's youth today. We're trying to shine light on the death of our children, that these are our children and they are human beings and they should still be here, but they're not because of gun violence. So it's time for us to decide what are we going to do? What are we going to do to make a difference before summer's upon us? It demands action. Violence has taken an action. Peace better take some action. Again, that 16-year-old boy charged with at least four felonies in this case. Because of the seriousness of the charges, it is possible his case will be moved into adult court. That's the latest here live on the near west side tonight. Sean Lewis, WGN News. Thank you, Sean. Mayor Brandon Johnson plans to move migrants who are currently housed at five Chicago Park District field houses in order to allow for summer programming. Our Angelica Sanchez is live in Gage Park with details and reaction. Angelica. Well, neighbors that we spoke with say that they are relieved to learn that park programs are returning. Alderman Ray Lopez says that he praises this community for stepping up to help in the migrant crisis, but there have been setbacks. Your voices have been heard. The city of Chicago is announcing five Chicago Park District facilities will no longer be used to house migrants. They say migrants will begin transitioning to other shelters in the city by the end of the month. This has not been an easy 10 months for our community. The facilities resuming park programming are Petrosky Park, Brands Park, Leon Park, Broadway Armory Park, and Gage Park. 15th Ward Alderman Ray Lopez says migrants without children are being housed here. I fully intended at that time that the Gage Park Center be a temporary shelter and had hoped that all wards, all wards, would share in the burden this federal crisis had created. Alderman Lopez says while he is proud of Gage Park for stepping up to help the city's migrant crisis, the neighborhood has seen setbacks as a result. There are limits to our generosity, though. Alderman Lopez says outside and around the field house, there have been reports of drug use, loitering, robbery, and even prostitution. I will be in contact with CPD Superintendent Larry Snelling and my local commanders to discuss what we can do now, both in the short and long term, to bring public safety back. Those who live here told reporters they are relieved. My kids can't go outside. Nobody's kids can go outside. They will go down the street and smoke right in front of my house. I don't want my kids to see that. One overjoyed neighbor hugged the 15th Ward Alderman upon learning the news. And it's not because we're anti-immigrant like everybody's trying to say. It's because we, we're, we are neighborhood oriented. Others say the park provides programs many people here rely on, including programs for those with special needs. Alderman Lopez says while this is a breath of relief for many, the city needs a long-term solution. If we don't use this time right now to get our act together, we could very well be back in the same situation. 
Now, we did reach out to Chicago police for more clarity on that criminal activity that the alderman was referencing. We were told to fill out a Freedom of Information Act. Meantime, the alderman does say once the field house is cleared, the city will be going in assessing damages and any repairs that need to be made so it can open back up to the public as soon as possible. Live in Gage Park tonight, Angelica Sanchez, WGN News. All right, Angelica, thank you.